you fail to roll an intro. So Nightbringer is a Colorado US based uh, black metal group, a lot of symphonic elements, a lot of more straightforward 90s based black metal elements as well. Um, this is their fifth full length, uh, Terra Damnata. Uh, their previous release, uh, Ego Dominus 2, came out in 2014, about three years ago, and that one was fairly well received. It didn't do anything to really reinvent the black metal formula, uh, but it was very solid, concise, and consistent. Uh, now here we are with the follow-up to that, uh, with a couple of solid singles, uh, well received, and uh, how does this turn out? Well, I mean, adequate. Adequate sums it up perfectly. Adequate. I'm not familiar with their back catalog, but I've been a big fan of symphonic black metal since my teens, oh, yeah. and this is basically just run-of-the-mill black metal. That's really all I can say about it. Most yeah. of the songs sound the same. The album is just so middling. Yeah, it really is. Just so middling all around. Other than a couple highlights, the pacing is generally all the same throughout most of the songs. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell most of them from any of the others, basically. Yeah, pretty much. You can listen to the first track on the album and really get a rundown of almost every track after it. Um, you've got some really shrill tremolo leads. Uh, followed by some rambling satanic vocals. Oh yeah, there's a satanic vocal rambling solo on the second track, Miss Rule, yep. where the guy just makes bumbling Satan noises over dissonant guitars for several minutes straight. Exactly. And it's an interesting thing, but it's really stupid. Right, and, and then you've got blast beats, and then you've got pretty much these large bombastic orchestral compositions over the top of that. And then you go for about five minutes, the song ends, and then another one starts. And that's essentially every track on this entire album. Uh, the tempos are all exactly the same. There's not a whole lot of variation. They, I'm going to use the word attempt, because attempt is the word that really comes to mind, to use uh, slower pace tracks or slower pace transitions. But these really fail to do anything other than bore the shit out of me. I feel like really all they do is detract from the really good elements of the band's career and even though they do vary it a little bit from their previous albums, they just don't add anything of any significance to the band's uh, pre-established formula. No, the slower parts have absolutely no place yeah. on this album, and which is odd because they have a fairly atmospheric sound, so you would think they'd be able to pull it off. The keyboard work is fairly solid, oh, yeah. and it's not overbearing like a lot of symphonic black metal. I wouldn't call them symphonic black metal completely, but I, they, have, they have a lot of elements as well as the older elements. Right. And I feel like they just are not able to use them well. They're, they're there, and they're not bad, and they're mixed well, but they're just... They don't serve any real purpose. Right. They don't drive the songs in a direction. No, they really don't. Um, and that's kind of one of the bigger issues as well. It's not a bad CD, it's actually got some very decent songwriting here and there. The compositions themselves aren't badly written, it's just that every single one of them sounds exactly the same from front to back, and that's really difficult to listen to, and it's, it's a fairly long album as well, so trying to get from point A to point B is difficult as hell. I don't think I've ever successfully sat through this entire CD from front to back. Uh, I've had to really break it down into little short stints here and there to really get this review written, and that's what makes it really difficult for Eric and myself to really sit down and write a review about it. Um, so, I, I think that's some of the biggest issues with the CD. Um, as far as positives? Uh, the production's good. Everything is mixed pretty well. You can even hear the bass. It's you actually can hear the, the bass really is audible. Yeah. For a black metal album, oh, yeah. that's an incredible thing. Yeah, no doubt. Um, the guitar work is suitably cold sounding. Not, oh, yeah. as, not as cold as mid early 90s black metal. It's more, has a sleeker production. Oh yeah, the, the production is actually sleek to a fault, but 
uh, let's let's move a little bit forward here. Uh, but yeah, the riffing, like he says, is very excellent. The drumming, I actually think, is is fairly solid as well. Um, uh, the bass work is is not only audible but actually well represented here. It sounds really good. It sounds clean and crisp. And there are some actual decent uh, bass riffs here and there. Uh, the vocals, when they don't devolve into generally incoherent rambling solos, are really powerful and prominent, and they do enhance the satanic mood, uh, although they can sound a little bit hokey in places, a little cheesy and uh, on the nose, which is pretty hilarious considering that it's black metal. Um, but yeah, there are some good elements to it. Uh, we're not saying that it's a horrendous album or anything like that. Just a monotonous one that I, I can't guarantee everybody's going to be able to sit through. If you're on a long drive or really you've got a lot of time that you're not going to pay a lot of attention to this album, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, you can even just listen to the singles and get a lot of the experience out of it, most of the experience out of it, because those singles are absolutely solid. I give them an 8 or 9 out of 10. Um, just on the lowdown, not a incredibly varied album on the whole uh, just a little disappointing when it comes to you know what's come before it so yeah I think that's just about everything I had to say Eric did you have anything else you wanted to add um, other than naming a couple highlights personally I thought let silence be a sacred name was fantastic yeah, with its piano like intro and the symphonics were done really well and the uh, end song serpent Sun is pretty good it sounds closer to more old-school black metal than some of the other tracks oh yeah other than that Nope, I really have nothing else to say, and it, really those songs aren't even worth listening to if you heard a bunch of other symphonic black metal. If you're new to symphonic black metal, this might impress you, yeah. but having heard dozens of dozens of albums in the genre, I was I would say just steer clear of this, yep. personally. Passable, but really nothing to write home about. It. I yeah. think I'd personally give it a six. I'd give it a five. Yep. So I think we can combine that together and give you a 5.5. Adequate. Simply adequate. Simply so. adequate. Yeah, done with this. Great shit.